Well, hello, Shoreline Church. It's the end of another week. It's Friday, March 27th. And I want to read Psalm 27 to you and just again invite you to quiet your heart, to let the Holy Spirit speak to you and listen to God's word. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. What a picture of God's salvation, of the stronghold we have in the God who loves us. He is the solid rock that we stand on. When, when political systems are quaking and shaking, and when the economic world is, is, is just jumping up and down unpredictably, and, and if, we're, if we're basing our lives on those things, we're going to be just coming apart and anxious all the time. But when we, we know that He is our salvation, no one can change that. He is our stronghold, and even when things are tough, His hand is upon us and He's watching over us. That brings us peace. And the psalmist calls us to draw near to God, to, to truly draw near, to seek His face, to make time to come close to Him. I want to challenge you to do that. Open God's Word every day. Seek His face every day. Draw near to Him, and watch how He draws near to you in those moments. He is your shelter, He is your mighty tower, and He is your stronghold. Let's pray to Him and ask Him to help us experience that depth of that truth. God, this is our prayer, that we will know that You are our salvation, that You are our mighty tower, that You are our fortress, that You are our stronghold. Let us put our trust in You, be confident in You, and know in the depths of our souls that You are with us and that You are on the throne of our hearts, our lives, and our world. We entrust ourselves to you, our Savior, our stronghold, and our protector. And we pray this in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Well, today, uh, Dr. Rick Alexander, the Vice President of, of Shoreline's Church Board, is going to share a few thoughts to get you updated on what's happening right here in Monterey. So pay attention to what he shares and let that bring you encouragement and peace and confidence in the Lord. God bless you and enjoy what Rick has to share. Hey Shoreliners, it's been a week since uh, my last uh, update with you. Actually, uh, it was my first update as well. And I wanted to tell you what uh, the situation is with the COVID virus uh, locally, and also how we as a church are continuing to serve you as well as our community. I certainly hope you all are following the state guidelines and the public health guidelines to be sheltering in place, practice social distancing, and also using good uh, personal hygiene, particularly hand sanitizers and hand washing. Uh, there's some excellent videos, by the way, online that you can look at in terms of really knowing how to do good hand washing. And it isn't just uh, two seconds with a little soap and uh, rubbing your hands together. A um, Couple things that I think are worth pointing out in terms of the uh, COVID virus in Monterey County proper, we now have done uh, over 400 uh, uh, COVID cultures. We currently have um, uh, 24 uh, active uh, cases. Uh, only two of those are hospitalized in Salinas and they're stable. Uh, all the other uh, patients are, are at home uh, isolating themselves. Uh, we have no active cases, nor have we had any active cases uh, hospitalized at a community hospital. Uh, this is a, a very dynamic and active uh, disease, however, and you don't have to uh, uh, turn on the news for very long to hear what's happening or what has happened and continues to happen and evolve in places like New York City, uh, Louisiana, uh, as well as Los Angeles, and even uh, in San Jose. Um, so uh, this is something that we need to take very seriously. And uh, one of the uh, 
good little pieces of information is it looks like for the very first time in New York City, the um, number of new cases is decelerating. So that's a very hopeful sign. So these recommendations really do work, but it requires all of our cooperation. In terms of, in terms of what we're doing at Shoreline, we have a lot of very active ministries that are continuing and some new ministries that we're developing. Um, uh, I encourage you to uh, look on uh, Shoreline's website uh, to see what those are, but a couple of them are first. Um, uh, Pastor Kevin and some of the staff are continuing to do uh, uh, devotionals throughout the week, and also we're live streaming, of course, our service on Sunday. Um, in addition, we have men's and women's Bible study, which is continuing online. Uh, the clothes closet and the food pantry are continuing and are very needed at this time. Also, I uh, invite you to email the church or call the church if you have um, prayer needs or also if you uh, are interested and uh, need lay counseling. Tremendous effort has, uh, go has uh, gone into rethinking and uh, developing new programs uh, by which we can continue to serve. As the need and the demand for our services as a church continue to grow, as always, we are very dependent on your generosity because without your uh, consistent funding, uh, we would have to cut back on many of the services that we provide. And, you know, during these times of economic uncertainty, it is definitely challenging for, for many people to give as the economic impacts uh, on your businesses and on your jobs um, uh, can't be denied. Uh, I would like to say, however, that uh, there are a lot of people that attend Shoreline, have attended Shoreline for, for many years that perhaps have never given to the ministry here. And I will tell you, there's never been a better time or a more needy time than right now today and i would really encourage those of you that have never given to really prayerfully consider about giving at this time and i want to tell you without a doubt uh, no amount is too small and if you're one of our generous givers that is in a position to continue to give generously we greatly thank you because it is because of people like you that we can continue to do the ministries here at shoreline you know I think I've been reflecting on, on what this current crisis represents. And I really seriously believe that this may be the defining moment in all of our lives. Um, in the sense that how we respond as a people and as a church is gonna have impact for probably the rest of our lives. You know, I think about stories that my, my mother and my father told me as a little boy growing up uh, when uh, they had a crisis, uh, and that was World War II. Uh, and that was a defining finding moment in my parents' generation. And in fact, they refer to that group of people as the greatest generation, largely because of the way they responded to their global crisis in their lifetime. And I remember my mom uh, quit her job and she worked in an airplane factory. My dad left Disney Studios, joined the Air Force, and was a bomber pilot. And, and everybody got on board and did something for the cause, and many people invested in war bonds. I believe the challenge we currently face with the COVID-19 virus is not so different than the challenge that faced my parents during World War II. I think that it requires a tremendous commitment of God's people and of our church to come together as one to confront and defeat this common enemy. So please, I ask you to keep praying, keep giving, keep involved, follow the guidelines that are uh, recommended by our health department and by the experts in the field, and that with God's leading, and with us coming together as a people, as a church, as a community, we're going to get through this challenging time and have a better tomorrow. Thank you.